Yeah, so if you're looking at um, DPI, uh, a lot of people are concerned that, yeah, it all looks very nice, there's lots of TVPI, but there's no DPI. I mean, IRRs you know, nice, but you can't eat it. Um, and the, the interesting thing, we, we looked at DPI across these three different cycles. And in the prior cycle, um, the one from 2000 to the financial crisis, um, funds were throwing off DPI. So you got numbers like four, you know, 4x, 5x, this sort of thing, over a period of time. Um, from 2008 to 2012, desert. I mean, DPI got above one, but just. But now, post-2012, the older vintages there, I think 2011, 2012, are now showing, well, certainly on the data we've got, and this is not the entire market, it's just the funds that we're looking at, so it's the better end of the market. Um, you know, we've got DPI uh, sort of getting around four, four X. Um, and of course, as you get to newer funds, the DPI goes down because they haven't had time to get the exits. But we think in the current market, as time passes, the DPI on the better part of the market should start rising up to that, you know, the, the number on the earlier funds, so sort of, you know, three, four, this sort of thing. So now in terms, that's just the current market without any additions. The thing that we think then is likely to happen to improve the DPI um, in the future is two things. One, the company sizes are getting bigger. So if you compare the size, well, the valuations, so use a proxy for revenue, the valuations of seed through A stage companies in 2012 compared to now, or 2014 compared to now, it's about 2x. The company's about twice the size. And that makes it easier or shorter time to get to an exit, because the IPO market needs a certain scale for exit. And so now the companies are a bigger scale, that time to exit is going to be shorter going forward, at least that's what we think. Um, the other is that you can see the, um, in fact you already see it happening, the number of um, SME IPOs has really ticked up since 2022, which is partly a sign of the company sizes are big enough you can go out, but also um, post the rise in interest rates, the incentive to stay private for so long is less. While interest rates were low, there's a certain amount of FOMO, funding was easier, um, why not just stay private and keep ticking through? Why look, at, why look at an IPO and taking on all the regulatory burden and, and transparency burden that comes with an IPO? Now that funding is more difficult, uh, an IPO exit looks quite attractive and the market's open, the market's interested, the companies are a large enough scale. So we think you'll see faster, you know, more exits and therefore faster growth of DPI.